Hi guys, Robotnik's here and this is my second Let's Build video and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, build this medieval mansion or uh, as I'm using it as a kind of medieval guild hall um, and it's been built in a kind of gothic style which is uh, something I don't usually tend to do but I've uh, I thought I'd give it a little bit of a go and a little bit of an experiment and I'm quite happy with the way that it's turned out. I'm going to take you through step by step how to construct it um, so yeah, let's get going with uh, the foundations. Now what I've done here is laid out the basic uh, layout for the hall, and the as you'll see, it consists of a sort of main section um, with two um, small areas uh, stuck onto the back and to the side. Um, now the main area it can fit is well, it's about 20 by 14 blocks. Um, that's not including these extra and sort of decorative parts uh, on the sides. Um, and then this additional area is 11 by 8 blocks. Um, and then there's another smaller area that's been stuck on the back here um, sort of at, to make a sort of second uh, entrance way. And that's 7 blocks by 5. Now the good thing about laying it out like this is it makes it a lot easier to build the um, basements. Um, and that's what I'm going to be moving on to uh, to now. Now I've gone and put the basement in and that is four blocks below a uh, ground level. Um, so obviously because the floor of this uh, building is uh, one block up from ground level you need to be digging down four below ground level so you've got room to put the floor in itself. Um, I've used this sort of back area as a means of coming down as the, uh, the entrance way to the basement right. and yeah I've gone for a sort of typical medieval arched uh, basement design here. Um, again, lots of variation in the interiors used on the walls, um, stone bricks, uh, um, retextured stone bricks that are in different colours, uh, the sort of uh, mossy cobblestone, cobblestone. And um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's good to get this out of the way early so you can uh, move on to the second step. Now, the first step before we put the rest of the walls up is to get the window frames and the door frames sorted. And this is going to allow us to then fill in the gaps and effectively construct the rest of the walls around them. Now as we circle around the back here we can see the back entrance has a number of different, a uh, couple of windows. Um, this side area has two windows at the end. There are going to be a few more windows in there but we'll have to wait till later in to, uh, to put those in. Now I'll just take you around and show you the details um, of the windows a little bit more. Um, here we can see the main windows at the front. Now they're five blocks in width and seven in height. Uh, we've then got these uh, three windows at the sides here um, and then again another large one at the back and then just a number of smaller windows at the back here. Now as I said earlier we can then use this as a means of constructing the walls around them and now we have the basic structure of the whole uh, building in place. In fact what you'll see is that there are a number of smaller windows at the very top of the, uh, of the main, uh, main walls um, as you can see at the top there, and I've, that's basically a three block gap with um, two stone brick stairs, one placed at the top upside down and one at the bottom the right side up, and that makes a sort of nice elongated um, but yet still small and compact window. We've also built the uh, fireplace which is uh, four wide at the bottom and then using two steps um, to narrow it to uh, two wide at the top. But yeah, I mean, we've pretty much got the uh, the main uh, building sort of uh, sort of ready now. We can continue with the uh, with the details on the walls, um, and also with going ahead and constructing the roof. As you can see here, I began to add the uh, buttresses to the walls. Um, this gives it a bit more of a sort of gothic feel. Um, they're four blocks high at the front, six at the back, with red um, brick stairs on top. On this side area I've also uh, finished off the walls and added in some uh, extra windows at the top just to try and provide a little bit more light uh, when the build is uh, finished. I've also brought the uh, upper section of the wall in one as you can see here. And so that's pretty much all that there is for the walls. Um, um, so yeah, I mean as you can see here the buttresses they all come around. You've got the smaller ones on the side here as well as the larger ones at the front and back. Um, and really, yeah, the next stage is to go ahead and add the roof. So I've gone ahead and added the roof. Um, as I said before, this is uh, red brick stairs uh, alongside stone half slabs, which are used just atop the, uh, the main section of the building. Um, 
I think you know red brick is a good uh, good building material to sort of help break up a lot of the sort of drab greys. So I mean, it makes the building feel like it's a little bit more a little bit more of a quality building as opposed to just a, a normal house or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, now that the roof is done, it's pretty much um, only the finishing details uh, needed on the exterior uh, before we go ahead and work on the interior. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the uh, the final uh, final steps. Now there are a number of finishing details that I've added in here. Um, firstly, I've gone ahead and filled in all the windows with window panes. Secondly, I've gone ahead and added a sort of hedge row um, along the sides. Uh, I just think this makes it a little bit more interesting, so it gives a bit of greenery, um, makes it again feel like more of a quality build. And I've also used uh, stone, uh, cobblestone fences, uh, or cobblestone walls, sorry, as you can see here, to sort of finish that off. Um, again, just makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I've also used stone buttons uh, just to try and sort of give a bit of detail to the walls, and also uh, the cobblestone walls uh, to sort of give these sort of gothic-ish, gothic -y sort of uh, details on the sides. Um, you know, a number of gothic builds often had the bits sort of sticking up, and I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting, personally. Um, if we come around here, yeah, again, I've used the uh, stone buttons as additional details here. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to split this video into two parts. Um, this, obviously, just for the exterior. Uh, in my next Let's Build, I'll take you through the interior and what you need to do to set it out as a kind of medieval mansion or guild hall. So don't forget to leave a like, uh, a comment and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon.